Hello everyone and welcome back to Spiritual Perspectives of Our Great Awakening. If you are new to my channel, I am Stephanie and I welcome you here. Um, today we're going to talk about the Hopi Prophecy. A little bit of a turn from our usual Christian prophecies and what ties into the Great Awakening. So in my research with the Hopi Prophecy, this is ties in 100% to what we are going through today. The interesting thing about the Hopi prophecy was there was two timelines. One talks about technology that leads to utter destruction of the world. The other timeline goes into how we get back in balance with nature and we go into a period of peace, a long period of peace. Now, before I begin, I'm going to go into a little bit of the history of the Hopis. As the history, I could honestly take a good six hours to discuss with you. However, I'm going to keep this short and to the point, and then we will go into the actual prophecy itself. Now, the Hopis, which is short for Hopi Shinumu, means peaceful little ones. They migrated 2,000 years ago from South America and resided in Arizona, where they still live today. Now, I apologize if I call them Hopi Indians rather than Native Americans. It is a habit. So if any of you do get offended, I do not mean to purposely offend anybody. I will try my best to call them Native Americans. I have retaken this video so many times because of that, but I'm just, if I slip up, it is what it is. <clears throat> the Hopi Indians have their own government. In fact, on December 19th, 1936, they actually created their own constitution. They often talk of the Great Flood, which we talk about in the, <clears throat> the story of Noah's Ark. They are dry farmers, and generally grow a lot of maize, which is corn, and squash with other various vegetables that grow in that region. The Navajo Indians back in the 1600s were being kicked out of their land by the Europeans that were migrating westward. Now, <clears throat> the Hopi Indians had lived thousands and thousands of years with no wars at all. That's why they were called the peaceful little ones. However, that took a vicious turn when the Navajo Indians went and sought after their own, after their land. They battled on and off for several years. Looking at my notes here. <clears throat> The Hopi Indians have been warning for years that the Western man's ways were out of balance with the creator's laws. The same laws that ties into our constitution we originally were given. In fact, the Hopi Indians have tried to sought out some listening ears from the United Nations. And as we know, those ears were pretty closed up to what they had to say because of obvious reasons that we now know today. The Hopi Indians, or the Hopi Native Americans, suffered at the hands of the U.S. government. In 1906, they were starved, so the outlaw would sign a contract with Washington, D.C., all in violation of what would later become the Genocide Convention Implementation Act. Many of the Hopi natives were put in jail, their children kidnapped, and put in American schools. Their history resembles many of the other indigenous tribe histories with the kidnapping of children, which we know now why they were doing. The Hopi Indians 
had many prophecies and they did prophesy about World War I and World War II. But they also did for the Third World War as well. There are nine signs that the Hopi natives said would happen prior to this. Some of these, actually all of these have happened. <clears throat> One, the coming of the white men who struck their enemies, sorry, the white men who struck their enemies with thunder, which translates to the white man with G-U-N-S, as I cannot say the word, on YouTube. <coughs> Two, the coming of spinning wheels with voices was translated to mean the arrival of the pioneers of the Western with covered wagons. Three, a strange beast-like buffalo with long horns was the longhorn cattle brought into the region by the white man. Four, the land being crossed with snakes of iron was the railroad. Five, the land crisscrossed with giant spider web was the power lines and phone lines of modern times. However, this can also be interpreted to mean the World Wide Web, the internet of today. Six, the land crisscrossed with rivers of stone that make pictures in the sun. This translates to the highway systems and the mirage effect that they have. Seven, the sea turning black and many things dying. This translates to the oil spills that have been done in the oceans and how it has killed off wildlife. Eight, long-haired youth who joined the tribal nations to learn their ways, depicts of the 1960s hippies. Dwelling places in the heavens that fall with great with a great crash, appearing as a blue star, is translated to the U.S. space station Skylab, which appeared blue as it fell to Earth. <coughs> now, one of the Hopi elders by the name of Thomas. Van Vakva had an opportunity to speak to the United Nations in 1992. He said to them, if we humans do not wake up to the warnings, the great purification will come to destroy the world just as previous worlds were destroyed. This leads me to believe Earth is not the only world that has had this issue. Now there are two paths, like I said earlier in this video, one path represents technology separate from nature that leads to destruction. The second path is harmony with nature that will result in paradise. This would translate to the thousand years of peace written in the book of Revelation. And in my findings, as I did a little bit of my research into this matter, they spoke about that quite often. Now, the chief, Dan Evhema, spoke about humankind becoming careless and that the carelessness would lead to destruction. He also spoke of a big industry becoming careless and how that it will lead to change in the times. He reports that some people will look to new lifestyles to help them adjust to these changes. The earth being robbed of her resources. The chief also spoke of industry depleting the earth's natural resources with the belief that these things would never run out. This will lead to fuel shortages, food shortages, and money having no value, all of which have happened. <coughs> this one is my favorite part of this particular prophecy. Corrupt leaders hunted down. Evhema 
warned that people would grow tired of corrupt politicians and would band together to fight for their peace, realizing their political leaders had failed them. These leaders would be hunted down and eventually and would even hunt each other. The hunters become the hunted. Hmm. The earth restored. Chief Ifhima spoke of the final battle where liberators come from the West to cleanse the hearts of the people and restore the earth. The battle is said to be the final battle between good and evil. We are almost there guys, almost there. World WAR3. I know I've said that word a few times in this video. Hopefully it doesn't get taken down. Hopi prophecy also warns of a third world WAR started by China, Indian, Palestine, and Africa. <coughs> it says that the United States will be destroyed by a gourd of ashes, which will be taken to mean a nuclear W E A P O N. Again, I can't say certain words on YouTube and I appreciate those of you who are very patient with this censorship. This will cause the waters to boil, the land to be burned, and sickness that has no medicine can cure. According to prophecy, the only ones who will be safe from this disaster are the Hopis themselves. So, I had looked up a lot of different websites for my research, but these nine different things that I have mentioned here along with some of that prophecy is from anomalien.com. I can post that in the description box below if you want to go check that out. Um, I did read off of this particular website as I had printed out some of the stuff on it. So you guys can actually go check that out. A lot of the history, I got that from other websites. The reason I wanted to kind of bring this into play today is because this plays a great deal in what we're seeing today. I'm sure most of you, if not all, can actually agree with that. Now, the good news is we're on the better timeline. I think we all know it in our hearts. It's a little scary right now, but I think that things are coming to a head. So with that said, where we go one, we go all. Keep holding the line, keep shining, and keep bringing the truth out to people because we're there, guys. We are so close and... Just hold the light and we'll be there soon. So with that said, have a wonderful day. Hope you thought this video was interesting. If you thought that this was good information, please make sure you hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. I'll see you guys on the next video. God bless.